Hello there, I'm Posh Boy Vex. Welcome back to the channel, it's good to have you with me. So first of all, where the hell have I been? It's been months and that's entirely on me. Well, I say that. Here's the thing, my real job, my day job, which by the way has nothing to do with vaping, uh, has had me extremely busy, and I mean crazy busy. We have seen a big resurgence in business uh, post-pandemic, or post the bulk of it anyway, and post lockdowns, and as such I have been absolutely run off my feet, and apart from work and sleep, that's all I've done. I've not had time to sit down and do any filming. Today it happens I'm up early, uh, and I've got a few hours before work, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to start this, the PBV, the Posh Boy Vapes vlog. And my intention is to just flash through a few devices that I'm not going to do detailed reviews on, but that I wanted to talk to you about anyway, that I've picked up and been testing and so on. And I think it's fair to say that in all this time, everything's had a lot of testing, some real, real long-term stuff. Um, and I also want to do some unboxing. We've got some new items coming in and give you a preview of what's coming on the channel too. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, my further plan is then to sit down every day before work, do some more filming, and then try and do some editing and get things moving again because the review queue is building up and um, you know I've got manufacturers very graciously sending me samples for review and I'm having to email them back and go, look, just bear with me. And they're like, well, come on, get moving. These devices are out on the market. We want to see them. We want to see them online. That's, that's perfectly reasonable. That's what I'm here to do. So what I'm going to talk to you about, a few bits on the table to start with. Let's talk about disposable, shall we? We've seen a huge resurgence in disposable, well not a resurgence, a huge upcoming in disposables in the last year. The, the market has gone wild with them. And I mentioned last year when I did my review on the first Geek Bar, of which this is one, um, I'll put a link in the description below to the Geek Bar that I reviewed. I really, really enjoyed it. And my experience so far and this is a broad generalisation, is that disposables which are made by device manufacturers like the Geek Bar from Geek Vape tend to be better, uh, better quality, better flavour, etc., than those made by a random company on the hop that nobody's ever heard of. Mm, that, that is a generalisation, but that's my feeling so far. So I picked up this Geek Bar... Uh, this flavour is Heisenberg, and Heisenberg is my go-to flavour. You know, I've got it right here. I've got bottles of the stuff of Heisenberg from Vampire Vape and Concept 19. Um, I've always got some Heisenberg on the go. It's my go-to short fill flavour. Interestingly, it's not my go-to flavour in Nick Salts because for some reason the Nick Salt doesn't seem to carry the same flavour profile as the short fill. But there we go. Geek Bar teamed up with uh, Vampire Vape and made a Heisenberg disposable and I was very excited because I thought you know what I like the Geek Bar already their, their flavours are good their, their devices are good gotta try the Heisenberg so here we go oh dear there is a hint of Heisenberg in there there's a hint of menthol a tiny touch of aniseed not getting much of the berry flavour but what I do principally get and this is the tragic bit is basically the taste of molten plastic. Oh, oh, it, it's not good. Yeah, that's unfortunately where that's going. Straight in the bin, not impressed. Okay, next up on the, on the vlog is the uh, Rath RDA uh, from, uh, who the hell makes the Rath? I don't know. Right, next up on the vlog is the Rath RDA from Vandy Vape. I really like this design. I think it's a, a clean design. You've just got this sort of claw mark logo on the side and not much else. Sat here on top of the magnificent clutch, of course, um, with a 0.12 or so build. I don't know, a little bit higher, actually. I think it's about a 0.15 build uh, with my favourite purple mangosteen juice uh, from the Boring Vape Company. Let's have a little go, shall we? That really needs a new battery in it. Hold that thought, let's pop a new battery in it. Somewhere around here, there should be another 21700 in all the toot that's on this desk. <clears throat> this is a slick and professional operation. Which way around do we go? Positive at the top, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's bang that in there. Now, yes, it is a slightly higher build than I would normally put in a, in a, in a mech like this. Um, on top of a mech like this, but maybe the new battery will help. Hmm. 
I think it makes sure you maybe needs a new build, a lower build, because there's like, well, there's about seven wraps on those quads. They look a bit hefty. But what I will say is flavor, really quite good. Uh, yeah, enjoying that a lot. I need to rebuild it, um, but that is quite excellent. I'm quite impressed with that. Rath RDA from Vandy Vape, about $24.99 in the UK. Pretty decent price. Um, and yeah, really enjoy that. Next, the Eclipse RTA from Yacht Vapes and Mr. Mike Vapes, the famous reviewer. What's up, peeps? Mike Vapes here. This was... I had high hopes for this, okay? Because in terms of its technical structure, being a very, very condensed chamber, being specifically designed as a little single coil banger, and being designed by Mike Vapes, who, let's be honest, really knows what he's talking about, I had high hopes. Unfortunately, my hopes were not fulfilled. It's nice, it's okay, but I really was expecting much, much better things. Now, it could just be my build. So if you've got ideas about what build would work well in here, then let me know. I'm using in here from uh, Pete's Own Made Coils, my regular coil supplier, a Tricor Staggered Fuse Clapton on six wraps at about 0.19 in stainless steel, which is one of my favorite wires. And those are magnificent coils for single coil bangers like this. Um, and, you know, Pete never does me wrong. So oh, do look him up on Facebook or uh, Instagram. You should, uh, you should get your coils from Pete. I like him a lot. Not sponsored at all. Uh, he's just my go-to guy for coils. But something about this just hasn't worked for me. We'll try it. Let's dial down the airflow a bit. Let's take the airflow down to about half and see if that helps because, you know, it is quite wide open. It's quite airy. Let's see if it helps a bit more with the restriction on it. It's a nicer flow. It's less turbulent. Still not, not exciting me, if I'm honest. It's a shame. But there we go. That was the Eclipse. Again, still a very good value RTA. It's not the worst RTA out there. Not by a long shot. But I feel it could be better. But... I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and say it could be down to my build. So if you've got any other ideas, let me know. Oh, and the Eclipse is about $25.99 in the UK, which feels like about the right price point for a tank of its style and size. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for some more performance. Give me a shout in the comments if you have any good ideas about what build would work well in one of those. Okay, coming up next, this is the Drag X Pro Kit from uh, Vupu, of course. Now I've got nearly all of the drag devices. I've got the Drag S, I've got the Vinci's as well, which I don't know the drag series, but they're same family. Um, I've got a, um, I don't know what else there's there. There's a Drag X over there. There's all sorts. So, you know, I'm a big fan. Uh, and I rather like, well, this one's leaking because uh, I've left it sitting for too long. Um, that's not a facet of the tank. That's me just leaving it for weeks on end. Um, I think this is beautiful. It's got a lovely soft cushiony back. It's got the nice clean display with the um, latest version of the drag firmware on there. And you've got these tanks that, uh, again, magnetize in that are TPP coil compatible. Um, now I'm running this at the full 80 watts, which is all it will do in smart mode. If you take it into our um, RBA mode, it will go up to 100. Now these coils are rated for 80 to 100 watts, best 85 to 95. So perhaps I'm running this a little low, um, let's just make sure that's in properly. Yes, okay, here we go. Yeah. TPP coils, fantastic, love them. Uh, flavor is magnificent. As you can see, my beautiful blue Heisenberg juice floating around in there. Even having been sat for two or three weeks unused, apart from a bit of leakage, which is on me, um, quite literally, um, that's still fine, the flavour's still excellent. 30 quid, 35 quid for the kit? Well worth getting. You like the drag devices? Get one of these. You've ever been thinking about getting a drag device? Get one of these. All right, and now this, you've seen the Endura Pro before, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this, the Nautilus 3 tank. So this is their, uh, one of their latest mouth-to-lung tanks. 
We know the Nautilus coils, they've been around forever and they work really, really well. You've got a wide selection of coils now, uh, from 0.3 all the way up to 1.7 um, and everything in between. Uh, and I've been running this with the 0.4 coils in with my usual uh, favorite Ribery, which I can't even find right now. There is the Ribery uh, from IVG. My favorite Nixalt by, uh, by a long shot. And I have to say, this has become my daily go-to-work banger. In fact, it goes everywhere with me. You think, oh, well, you know, I've got RTAs coming out my ears, and you know me, I love them out to long RTA. This, on a stock coiler, 0.4 coils, absolutely superb. The flavour is just spectacular. And given you can pick it up for less than 20 quid now, I, I strongly recommend, if you want a mouth-to-lung stock coil tank, you just want something easy, this is literally perfect. You, it comes with a 2mm glass, but you immediately fit the bigger glass to get 4mm of capacity. Um, you can change coils on the go with a full tank because it's got a, a, a juice guard in. So when you pull the coil out, the guard drops and it doesn't leak. And I've done that repeatedly and you, it does not leak at all. Um, it's got a simple uh, slide fill at the top. Just stick your juice in there. Um, and a couple of different drip tips with it. I love it. I really do. The only complaint I have, there's two actually. One, it's a bit big, which is why I've got it on this enormous mod, because all of my little dinky mods, and you know, I put it on something like this, the um, the uh, Baby Puma, which is a lovely little mod that weighs absolutely nothing, but it just overhangs because it's enormous, and it certainly doesn't fit on any of my side-by-side -side mods, uh, like the, um, the, the Kazoku Tech mod. Um, it's just a bit chunky, which is why, coming up, preview time, we have the Nautilus Nano, um, which is the smaller version of it, taking the same coils. That I'm gonna do a detailed review on very, very soon. The only other complaint I've got is Aspire recently released some 0.3 Nautilus coils, which I bought and tried. Flavor was out of this world. I mean, 0.3 is very low for mouth to lung, so, you know, huge amounts of flavor. The coil life was dismal. I was lucky if I got a day and a half out of it. Now I know Ribery is a very sweet juice and it is a bit of a coil killer, we know that. But, oh God, it just tore through them. I was like, this is not economically viable. I will normally get about four days, three to four days out of an 0.4 coil because I'm using it all the time. And I think if you had a less sweet juice, then you wouldn't, you know, something like a clean menthol, for example, you wouldn't go through it so quickly. Um, and certainly yeah, if you've got sticky sweet juices or creams and custards and coffees, they are gonna tear through your coils. Of course they are, we know that. Um, but I'm happy with three or four days and you get five coils in a pack for 10 or 11 quid. And honestly, it's just great for going around all the time. Perfect, delicious. Now the eagle eyed amongst you will have spotted something lurking on my desk that looks very old because it is. This is an original cube, or the, the resin version, with the original cube tank with the M1 coils in. This is not new. Uh, this is not a suggestion of something new, but you can still buy them. They're widely available on the market. This is my stock coil sub-own go-to, and has been for years. Um, if I just want something instantly to just grab and go, it's gonna be the cube. The coils last forever. My current record, uh, with Heisenberg, again, which, again, is not a very sweet juice, is five weeks. Five weeks out of one coil. Uh, and that was using it all day, every day. It was the only thing I had on the go. All day, every day, for five weeks solid. And even after five weeks, the flavour wasn't even, it wasn't even burnt out. It was, the flavour was maybe starting to go a little bit flat. And I thought, mm, it's been a while, maybe I'll change it. Maybe the flavour's going off slightly. I changed it out, I looked at the coil, it wasn't even burnt, it wasn't all blackened and horrible. I was just like, okay, and I put a fresh coil in and off I went for a, several more weeks. But it's just, it's just a great, easy device to use. It's very simple, there's one mode, it's power mode. You just set it to 60 watts and away you go. You don't need to change it to anything. 60 watts is your friend and oh, it's lovely. I can't get enough of it. I'm running my good old uh, kiwi and cranberry from Just Juice in there, which you can see I've got in short fill and I've got in Nixalt here as well. And 
It's, it's perfect. I mean, you couldn't ask for more. And, you know, you'll pick up a kit for 30 quid or so, and you think, well, hang on, it's been on the market for a few years. Why is it still 30 quid? Because it's worth that. It's not one that's going to lose its value and become dirt cheap because they're still worth the money, because they're still very, very good. Restrictions, yeah, only one mode. You can only charge on micro USB, so it does take a little while to charge, but not an inordinate amount of time. But you can, of course, get the Cube X into which you put an external battery, um, if that's what you want to do. And I've had one of those. Um, it's still floating around somewhere. But honestly, the Cube just makes me very happy. And of course, it's only a, what's that, about 24, 25 mil tank. So you can put it on anything, really. It's not, you're not restricted to this device. You can put it on any single battery or dual battery mod, whatever you like. Well, anything will take 60 watts comfortably. But it just works really well with this, obviously, because it was designed together. Um, and yeah, there's a slight colour mismatch. This is a gunmetal tank on a black uh, cube, because I, somewhere along the way, changed them. But, yeah... No, I'm not really that worried about the aesthetics of it. It's all good. Yeah, very happy. Okay, preview time to what's coming up on the channel. Um, I've just been sent this, the Elf Bar Mate 500. Uh, so this contains one device, one Type-C cable, uh, one user manual and one warranty card. It's a 500 milliamp hour battery built in, and it weighs all of 21 grams. With it have come... Uh, Five pre-filled pods, a blue Raz lemonade, energy, that's going to be uh, probably the flavour of a well-known energy drink, kiwi passion fruit guava, like the sound of that, uh, blueberry, all good, and watermelon, always good. So blue Raz lemonade, well, I do like a, a blue raspberry. I think the only one that's probably not going to excite me that much is going to be the energy. It's not a flavour I go for, despite the fact that I do like the popular and well-known energy drink. Um, but that's coming up. We'll do a full review on that soon. Also, there's loads more. We've mentioned the Nautilus Nano. That's going to happen. I've got here the Wasp King RDA from Umie, part of the Wasp family, which I've got the whole family of already and I love. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll do a full uh, build and wick and close up look at that. We have the Blotto single coil with its bubble tubes. Uh, again, a big fan of all the Blotto range, and this I'm looking forward to a lot. I've got the Aspire Cumo RDTA, which is the clever thing that doesn't have any wicking cables, and it wicks the juice up by magic. Looking forward to that. I've got the Siegfried Meshed RTA, which has been out for a little while, but I'm told is very, very good. Um, and you can use mesh coils or round wire normal coils in it. I've got the Profile Squonk Mod. Uh, which we're going to have a look at with the uh, Profile PSRDA, of which I've got two. I've got a silver and a black. Uh, and of course, it would be logical to do a, the RDA with the Squonk mod, because Profile RDAs, generally speaking, work really, really well on Squonkers. So I'm going to do those together. That's all currently in the review box. This crate over here is everything I keep my stuff coming up for reviewing. Um, that needs doing. And as you can see, there's an awful lot of it. It's all been building up for some considerable time. But there's more. It's time to do some unboxing. So what have we got here? I've got a package here uh, that I can't even remember who it's from, but let's find out what's in the package. Let's get the old scissors on this. Oh, and my fingernails. Here we go. Let's see what's in the pack. Ah! Right, yes, this is the uh, Caliburn AK2 pod, which, oh, also handily, came with a free juice. What have I got? Uh, Bluck Reload. Oh, Black Reloaded, basically. So it's it's another Heisenberg imitation. This one's from Basics Salts. Um, I can't remember who they're... Uh, oh, they're, they're from Grey Haze. Um, they're, I think, their own brand. Uh, and what have we got? Oh, we've got a nice thank you from Grey Haze. Um... Leave a review and get money back in credit. Well, I think, uh, point of note, I don't do my reviews on a paid basis. Um, my reviews are always independent. And I did buy this. This is why it's come from Grey Haze. Um, so, uh, you know, I bought it for the purposes of review. Um, that will, uh, you know, what? let's have a quick look at it uh, straight away, shall we? Let's have a quick tear it out the box, first impressions kind of thing, shall we? 
Okay, here we go. That is much like the previous Coco, albeit the pod looks slightly different. I'd have to check, I don't actually have a Coco, I'll have to find, my mate's got one. I'll have to ask him and see if the pods are compatible. I could just look it up, of course. And it's got a little uh, doodad there if you want to put it on a lanyard. Do you get a lanyard with it? That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? We have a lanyard with it to string it around your neck. Let's check the accessory pack and see what we get. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. There's another coil and there's a lovely little lanyard. So if you want, you can string it around your neck so it goes everywhere with you. If you could get into the damn lanyard. Ooh. Oh, it's all rubbery and stretchy. That's weird. Ooh. There you go. The cocoa is now around my neck for carrying around with me. I don't do this. I don't carry pods around on lanyards. I, it's just not a thing I do. I keep it in my pocket because it's so small and light that it's easy just to keep in your pocket. And I don't want it swinging around here all the time and, and I bend over and it smacks me in the face and so on. Um, so yeah, what I will say is it's, uh, it feels like an aluminium body and that gives it quite a sense of, quite a feel of sort of sturdiness and quality. I rather like that actually. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, and given that the Caliburn series are always very good, I think that's going to be quite enjoyable. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise because I do only buy things that I think I'm likely to like. However, I also uh, am fully willing to say if I bought it and it turns out that I don't like it, I'll tell you. Um, because there's no, there's no profit in it for me. There's no advantage saying, oh yeah, it's magnificent. Um, I, I will happily accept that I've spent my own money and made a mistake. It wouldn't be the first time I've done it. Okay, onwards with the unboxing. First package here from China, from one of the suppliers, should contain bits and pieces. Um, this is not from a manufacturer, this is again stuff I've bought, um, that I've kind of had my eye on and thought I'd like to have a go at that. But the advantage of getting it from one of my Chinese suppliers is that I can usually get it before it hits the UK market to give you an idea of whether it's gonna be worth having or not. They also package them up really well. It seems that in my advanced years, I've become somewhat hard of thinking because I've got another Caliburn AK2 pod. Never mind. I've also got here the Digiflavor Siren Mouth Lung RTA version 4, um, which I love the design of. Look at that. I think that's beautiful. Let's have a look at it up close, shall we? Let's have some first impressions of what it's like out of the box. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. I love this this rainbow colour. I'm liking that effect a lot. It's a little dinky thing. It's only about 22 millimetres by the look of it. I'd have to check the exact specs. Did it tell us on the back? Um, no. It'll probably be in the technical manual. But yeah, I'm really liking the look of that. I think that's super cute. So we'll do a full review and uh, build on that, uh, and wicking tutorial. Um, you know me, love a mouse and an RTA, absolutely. Next box. Lots of goodies in this one. Ah, right, first of all, the Wasp Nano RTA version two. Been looking forward to this a lot. As I said before, you know me, I love the Wasp the uh, nano devices. The version two RTA looks very pretty. Uh, let's uh, tear into it and have some first impressions, shall we? Wow, they've made this quite difficult to get into. Oh, oh, this looks good. Oh yeah. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And look at that funky design around the top cap and the airflow ring. And our familiar Wasp logo on the chimney inside, and it comes with a bubble glass as well, but I like it with the straight, I don't, I'm not a fan of bubble glasses. I like that with the straight glass. I think that is stunning. And if it's anything like its predecessor, that's going to be absolutely superb. So we'll do again, full build on that, an up close review. That looks exciting. Now, a couple from Hellvape. We have the Fat Rabbit RTA famously being 28.4 millimetres wide. Everyone's been saying about this, why is it such a specific width? Uh, well, it is. It's not just a 28 mil tank, it's a 28.4. And don't you forget it. 
I mean, 0.4 of a mil, is that gonna make a lot of difference? I don't know. So let's have a look at her. Oh, oh that's a bit of a beast, isn't it? Yeah, look at that, it's a bit of a unit. Wow. And it comes with a spare glass. And it's very difficult to get out. Oh, yeah, that's quite a unit, that. Definitely fulfilling its fat rabbit name. Quarter turn, top cap to open, big kidney holes for filling. And if we can get to the deck. Oh, yes, it takes that bit off and then many parts to unscrew, which apparently I can't. Okay, you know what? We're not going to waste time on that now. We'll get to that when we do the build as to how we get into it and uh, take it all apart. Good stuff. And then we've got the Dead Rabbit R tank, which is a mesh rebuildable tank with amazing flavour and all sorts of easy to guide e liquid rapidly with long lifespan, quarter turn top. Cost saving over coils. Interesting. Why? How? Guess we better find out. Ah, of course, yes. So this has the rebuildable mesh coils that you saw me do in the, what the hell's it called? That, uh, that thing from Watofo, the Manic with the, uh, the rebuildable mesh coil, that's exactly what's in this, I remember now. I mean, whether it's the same, because Watofo and Hellvape aren't the same company, but let's have a little look, if we can get, the, get into the deck straight away. Yeah, so you, you build the little mesh thing with the, the tool, wrap the, the mesh around the, uh, wrap the cotton around the mesh, slide the tool out, clip it off, and it's, it's the constructed there. Yeah, looking forward to that. I've heard good things about this. Um, an interesting airflow design. It's got a bar in the middle uh, of the AFC inside there. That I'm guessing just, well, a little bar will help smooth it out and reduce the turbulence. Like that, yeah. So that's what's all to come. That's a lot of devices, a lot of videos, a lot of filming, a lot of editing, but you know what? It's what we're here to do. It's what you come here for. And if that's not motivation enough to get me moving and get things reviewed and get it uh, shown to you, I don't know what is. Okay, closing thoughts then. We've got an awful lot of equipment there that needs reviewing and, uh, and attending to. Lots and lots of tanks. Um, there's a couple of mods. Oh, there's the... Um, Where's the Endura mods? Of course, I haven't even talked about the Endura mods, have I? Where are they? I've lost them now. Well, there's, oh, there they are. So I've got the Endura and the uh, Endura Mini. So remember, that was the Endura Pro. We did that in the summer. Then I've got the Endura Normal and the Endura Mini. They need reviewing as well. I've done the close-up work on them already. So we need to do the face work on them. Looks like we've got a bit of Heisenberg on the go there. It's got some power in it. Let's give it a go. Great. Heisenberg all over me because it's been sat for so long and I just purged it and I've thrown juice all over myself. Absolutely fantastic. It's a slick and professional operation. Flavour's great, don't get me wrong, but that's a mess. What, you know what, never mind, we'll come back to that. Um, I will clean it up before I do the proper review on that. Uh, and that's probably the one I'm gonna get to first um, along with the Mini as well, which I don't have a tank on at the moment, but I could probably find something to put on it. Well, we'll do that in the review. Um, the question on my lips is, could this, with its design, replace my first ever mod, the iStick Pico, which I still use to this day. Yes, it's looking old and a bit tatty now, but I use it all the time. It's a magnificent little mod uh, and it does a fantastic job. Could this be its replacement? Have to watch the review and find out, won't you? All right. Um, the channel, as I said, remains independent um, and I buy all of this like, out of my own money, uh, with the exception of some things that manufacturers do send me for, as samples. Um, if you want to support my work, uh, any donations would be gratefully received. You can do so by joining up through Patreon. There's a link in the description below and a link appearing on your screen 
right now. Um, any uh, contributions through Patreon are very welcomed. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can support the channel's work and help me keep buying stuff and help delivering reviews. Because as I said, I don't accept paid reviews. Um, uh, do also follow us on Instagram. As I get moving again with uh, reviewing stuff, I will be posting as well. Um, so, you know, join us on Instagram and keep an eye on that. And of course, like the video if you haven't done so already. Like other videos, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Click that familiar uh, button. Uh, and make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I next post. And uh, share the video as well. You know, the more views and likes and subscribes I get, the better it is for me because it pushes me further up the search results in YouTube's algorithm. Uh, so well worth it for me. And all you have to do is click some buttons. No, a great hardship there. Look forward to seeing you again on the channel very soon. Uh, thank you for your patience. Stay tuned. I've been Posh Boy Vapes. Cheers. <laughs>